Now in this part of the question, we're given 2 root x plus 3 all divided by x and asked to express this in the form 2x to the power p plus 3x to the power q where p and q are constants. So how are we going to do this? Well there's several ways and I'll show you two ways anyway that I can come up with. First of all, going to write that this is identical to, now because we've got two terms on the top and a single term underneath, I can divide each of those terms by the x. So we'd have 2 root x over x and then plus 3 over x. Now looking at the answer, you can see we've got powers of x. So that would suggest that we need to change these to powers. So should know that the square root of x can be written as x to the power half. I'll just remind you why because you should know that the nth root of x is always equal to x to the power 1 over n. So if you're dealing with the square root of x, n would be a 2. Not that we write it, so that would be x to the power 1 over 2 or x to the power half. So I can write 2 root x then as 2x to the power half and then that will be divided by the x. And as for this term, I can think of this as 3 times 1 over x. Now, for the 1 over x, you should know in general that 1 over x to the power n is the same as x to the power minus n. So, in this particular case, you've got x to the power 1, so n would be 1 down here, so we can write it as x to the power minus 1. So I can then replace this with 3x to the minus 1. So what I'll do is I'll just rub that out and write that as 3x to the minus 1. Now for this term, when we're dividing powers of x, the rule is to subtract the powers. So we've got the 2 here, and then as for the x, we've got half, take away the power 1 here, which is minus a half. And then we've got this term here, plus 3x to the minus 1. And as you can see, we've got this in this format. If we were asked to write down the values of p and q, p would be minus a half, and the q would be minus 1. I did say though that there was another way that we could do this, so we'll just run through it again. Let's just copy down the question. 2 root x plus 3 all divided by x. So how could we do it? Well, we can see this as 1 over x, if we just pull that x out the front of a bracket and multiply it with 2 root x plus 3. And 1 over x, as I showed you up here, by this rule can be written as x to the power minus 1. And then you've got to multiply it by 2 times root x, and root x can be written as x to the power half, and then you've got the plus 3. Now when you multiply out the bracket, all you need to do is follow the rule of multiplication for powers, and that is you just add the powers. So we would have the 2, and then adding the powers of x minus 1 add a half here would be x to the minus a half. And then you have x to the minus 1 times 3, so that's plus 3x to the minus 1. So both these methods result obviously in the same answer in this format. So hopefully you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.